a n e k i n e c h e r o e k e p r j e s e f k i n s u k e k u And of course, you know who I'm rocking with. Err, err, a k a t i i n e g e k u err. Oh, my bad. Err, err, a k a t a i They've been on me for that. They're like, you gotta, ele- you gotta get your joint right. It's I E. It's not just, it's not just E, it's I E. When you have the letter Y. I E. So, um, I decided to bless y'all. Real quick, we're gonna bless y'all on some stuff. On some stuff, we're gonna talk about some stuff. So, a lot of people、um, always speak about the laws of Ma'ut, the 42 laws of Ma'ut, and it's a lot of confusion about them. Um, I'm not going to make this video long at all, so I'm gonna, you know, say what I gotta say. Know that、uh, you're going to see how the ritual is actually applied in a modern day way、uh, that the Necheru had, had let me know,、uh, specifically, who let me know was Eneket. Eneket and Meet. So, if you know who those are, Eneket is the、uh, beer goddess, and then Imeet is the celestial water, or Imeet Ueret, the celestial water, the great cow, which is a form of Hathor,、uh, which is a form of the Pallades. They let me know, I got it channeled to me, that the 42,、uh, like I had heard.、Um, Because when I first read it, I'm like, okay, this shit don't make no fucking sense. Because the way it's structured, if you actually read the book and, and understand the concept of what they were doing during those times, it was a, it was a, a map of the subconscious mind, which was also moving through the, through the, astro-、uh, the, uh, uh, the constellations, through the star systems. But the star systems. Is on the other side of Hydra. You see what I'm saying? So that's the uh at pep. Now, once you get into the subconscious mind, the, the laws of Ma'at were, were spoken or declared,、uh, the negative confessions were declared in the halls of Ma'ati. Sorry, they got, they got me again.、Uh, Asset and Nebetet both jumped on my ass. In Ma'at, Tai. Imel Tai. Imel Tai literally means the Me'ut twins. Isis and Neptet. You see? So it's not just the laws of Me'ut, it's the laws of Me'ut Ati. Or Me'ut Ati.、Uh, Me'ut Atai. Sorry. <laughs> Me'ut Atai. So that would mean. Since Neptet is connected with the underworld slash inner world, and Asset is connected with the outer world, as far as those specific archetypes of them, that would mean that it would have to be split into 21s, correct? And it is split into 21s if you pay attention. So if you actually look at the,、uh, the photo, which I will put up、uh, in the video, if you look at the photo, You'll see at the very top, you have、uh, a, a person. It looks like AA. Actually, it looks like, it looks like Nun. It looks like Nun.、Um, it may be you in the form of Nun.、Uh, because any entity you see technically is something you will be invoking regardless. You know what I'm saying? So,、uh, making me a ritual dinner.、Um, anything you would see would be something you'd be invoking. Either way. So, what I noticed is Nun has his left hand going one way, his right hand going the other. And that's his position. That's always Nun's position unless he's raising up the sky、uh, or raising, yeah, raising up the sky. So, what I noticed was there was 
a certain amount of serpents looking one way and then a certain amount of serpents looking the other way. And his other, his other hand was facing the way they were looking. So I'm like, okay, so this is the right brain and the left brain. And so I'm like starting to get it. I'm like, okay, so what's 42? What would be 42? And then, it, then the first thing that hit me when I, paid, when I looked it up, when I'm thinking, okay, 9 times 6, that's obvious. Okay, that's, that's pretty obvious. Um, and then... I thought about that and I looked that up and then that's binary code 10 10 10 squared. So 10 10 10 squared, which if you understand uh Kabbalah and then you also understand the clip off or you understand the the trees of life and the tree of knowledge, then basically you understand that you're working with nine spears, but they're pyramids. See, so you would have a zero, a zero, and a zero, and then a one, a one, and a one. So with that, those would actually be the laws of Ma'ut if you were to break those down. Now, what when it clicked as far as everybody's thinking like, well, how are you going to show us how it's done? Cold wind blue, baby. Cold wind blue. So I've been working with, shout out to the ancestor. I am me. bay. You know, the ancestor, C. Freeman L. Uh, Bobby, I've been channeling a lot of Bobby. Uh, working a lot with Bobby. Um, and Panic had mentioned that, you know, Bobby's still alive. So don't think I'm like working with his uh soul or some shit no i'm i'm working with the the godhead energy that he left uh imprinted and influenced on our uh uh melanated matrix our cellular network of us right of souls our solar network right so he was talking about how c freeman l always liked the old english so i had started working with c freeman l he had came through so i was fucking with the old english and uh, I've been fucking with the old English for a minute. So then one day when I went to go fuck with it, I, w I wasn't buying a 40. I was just buying a normal joint. And I was thinking like, okay, so the 42 to 42, why is it still clicking? And then it clicked. After I looked, uh, started looking, I'm like, oh, it's the 40. Your body can take 42 liters of water, of liquid, pretty much. It can contain, that's like the limit. Right. So that was one thing. Then today, earlier, prior to buying this, I go into the store uh, on my way to go in the store. And I look up to 42 again because somebody had asked me about it. And I'm like, why the fuck does this shit keep coming up? Because I'm like, it really because I heard panic say uh, and Bobby speak about it, how it didn't matter. And this was before I actually really learned the ancient Egyptian language. And when I learned the language and I did see what they talking about, it does not matter. Those laws don't physically matter. So I'm like, so what, what, I mean, so basically what I had initially got from it was they put the laws there and they made so many of them and made them physical to basically explain that you could not have done these things. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But they still would have had a way of practicing it simply because how would you remember that shit? So I'm like, how would they practice it? Right. So then the 42 liters kick in. So then I go buy this, and then on my way to buy it, I realize I look up 42 again, and there's 42 million proteins in your cells or some shit like that, right? And each cell has like one protein or or, ten, or uh, one million proteins or something, and it has something to do with the cell, keeping the cellular healthy. So I'm like, okay, that's clicking. So then that would be a way to apply it. So then I go to buy the, the old English and now I was going to get the normal 24 ounce joint. And then some told me to get a 40. I look down. 42 ounces. 42 ounces. 7.5, 13. So basically how it's done and how we're going to do it this time is we're going to actually do 21 ounces 
and we're gonna get that's why I got the parchment paper out. We're gonna do uh the the um seven triangles. Seven pyramids was would be twenty one ounces, because each one of the dots the or points would be an ounce. Uh so we're gonna do that. And then we going that's gonna go into my chalice. We're gonna drink that. Cause because again, one side of the of the serpents are facing one way and the other is, is facing the other. Since he's using both hands, the one that's right handed is being projected. That means that that's the energy that he that you're pouring outwardly. The one that's going to the left hand means you're receiving. So you would basically be drinking half and then either giving the other half to the ancestors or something else. In the scenario, because these are gods that they're referencing, you would technically, in this case, that channel to me, take a bath. That's right, because a beer bath is something that all shamans know about. Anybody that practices shamanism knows about beer baths and why they're important. So, when that came to me, I'm like, okay, this how we rocking. So that's why I got my measuring cup out. So how we gonna do this is because this only has four ounces at the minimum, we're gonna do, every time I do one triangle, it's gonna be pretty much the three ounces. So then I'm gonna put that there, pour it in the chalice, blah. You know what I'm saying? Now we might get lit. We might end up getting lit if, if this, hold on, do I got my, my big boy jug? Do I got my big boy, big boy? I got my big boy, big boy. Uh oh. We might get lit. Nigga might get, might get lit. Alright, I'm gonna wash out this chalice. Be right back. Alright, so to be on the safe side, I went ahead and got me a third cup. You really should use a quarter cup, but I'm uh I didn't feel like washing that shit out to be honest, so I just got a third cup. So what you wanna do is since you're using a third cup, you want to put two of these joints in one, in one third, and then a uh, half of the one third, because then that'll be three ounces, okay? Three fluid ounces. So, ah, uesek in emet, imaunu, in aura, aesefet. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Epet esejet peret im her a ee in a ue ah right so that's two right then ah if in Eper im kiminu in a uan aba bong bong, right? Then Boom, boom. Then you pretty much keep going. All right. Uh, I'll put the laws up in the language. So for those that understand Madhu Nature that don't want to have to decipher it, uh, I'll save you guys the time um, and then do that. But so, yeah, so that's how you would do it. Uh, then what you would do is you get this. You light this on fire. You take the ashes. You pour it in there. And then you drink that with the ashes. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and get it done right now. Because that was something I noticed in the pyramid text. Uh, they would they would write the Eye of Horus. They put the Ujat on parchment paper or on bay leaves. And then they would, uh, they would take the Ujat on the bay leaves and then they would burn it and then they would put the ashes in there and then they would do a spell and the spell would say you have uh drunk in the eye of horus you have taken the eye of horus 
you have equipped the eye of Horus, etc., etc. So what we did is I took my uh, half of my ashtray that's in the south, representing the fire. And let's light this bad boy up. That's Kimmit, baby. That's how you do some Kimmit shit right there. Then what I like to do is I like to inhale, take, oh, take a quick inhale. I'm getting my ashes. God damn it. Uh, take a quick inhale and inhale those fumes of that smoke. And take that second, that second for the bath of those deities. You pour it in here. Actually, because I want to make sure I just get the parchment leaves. Because there's some other ash in there from earlier. Wop gang, wop gang, wop, wop gang, wop, wop gang. Yeah, so that's how you do that. My nigga, ruh, er, aketahi. And the gek that's your error. He saw it all go down, so you know it's official tissue. You know what I'm saying? I will fool or make you do when I've been can sue Kaku or da kebeche in the church or a kepper Joseph can sue Kaku. Jorin na chiru, reka kima eriabi, eriabi, aba. Jor atiu, reka kima eriaba, jor a m i e b e reka kima eriaba, a u f p u s p f. And that is how you could, in the modern day, practice the laws of Ma'ut. I technically got. Some more to go, so I'm gonna get to it. You guys should do the same. 636 gods, it's the great god who created himself, Kensu Keku, signing out. Stay wavy, stay, star seeds, stay wavy. As you can see, I'm kind of stumbling because I already started. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we out. Now, the reason why the chalice is important. Because it's a spear, right? At the top, see the spear? Um, that represents the Sephiroth or the Klippoth, whichever way you're looking at it. So every sip you take, you're taking the life force from whatever Sephiroth or Klippoth you're working with. Hence why I put the pyramids and then I put three Sephiroth or Klippoth on each one. And then I lit the ashes up off the parchment paper. Sorry, lit the parchment paper, made the ashes, poured the ashes in here. Therefore, I have drank it in the way of ancient comedic vampirism, which is called Esekim Apep or Esekim Apep. Uh, I have swallowed or drank the actual spirit of the God I'm talking about. So, that's the magic behind that shit. Therefore, you would not forget in the afterworld. Right? Cheers. Now we really out. So we're going to cheers three times. To the underworld, baby. Signing out. Stay wavy, starseeds. Six three six guys. Baby said, "What up, nigga?"